Hi everybody, this is Michel Birler and I would like to show you how to install BioGym on a Windows machine. The first thing to do is to install Python if it is not already down. To do that, you open your favorite browser and you connect to the web page python.org. There, in the menu Download, you can download the latest version for Windows. Today it's Python 3.11.3. .3. So I click on it. It will download the installation file and that is called Python 3.11.3 AMD64.exe in my case. And I open it. It's good to check this box here that is labeled at python.exe to path so that you can have access to Python directly. And then you install in your directory. OK, this is installed successfully, so I can close the window and close the browser. Once Python is installed, you can actually test that it is well installed by opening a command prompt. To do so, you go to the search here and type prompt, and then you select the command prompt here. It will open this window where you can type Python minus minus version, and it will show you that Python 3.11.3 .3 is correctly installed. Now, this is a good habit when you work with Python to work within a so-called virtual environment. It's an environment where everything is isolated so that there is no risk of conflict of different versions of the same uh, package. In order to create a virtual environment, you just type virtual env and then you give it a name. In this case, I will call it my env, but you can create anything you want. So this is created and you see that in addition to the environment, it has created something called PIP. PIP is the main software that is used to install any package on Python. It's very uh, commonly used. So now we will activate the environment. To do so, you type the name of the environment, myenv, backslash, scripts, backslash, and then you type activate. And now the my on env is activated, and actually you can see it by the fact that it's mentioned here in front of the prompt. Good. So now we are ready to install BioGym, and this is simply done by typing pip, so the software I was talking about, install BioGym. Note that BioGym will be installed only in this environment. So if you change to a different environment, it will not be available there, and you will have to reinstall it in this new environment if you need to use it there. Here, pip is downloading and installing all the packages that actually BioGym needs to be able to run. So uh, NumPy, Panda, and other things like this. Great, it seems to have been successfully installed. Excellent. So now we need to test it. If you want to develop Python scripts, uh, you need to work in the so-called uh, development environments. And there is one which is provided directly with, uh, with Python called IDLE, but there are plenty of other environments. IDLE is very simplistic, so you can select it, but you can select anything you want. So let me launch IDLE here. So to do this, I need to type Python minus M, idle lib dot IDLE. Okay, so this opens a so-called shell. So this is where you can run the scripts. But now I need to type the script. So to do that, I will open a file, a new file, and I will save it on the desktop. OK, the desktop. And I will call it test biogym.py. Let's save it. 
Okay. Now to test if BioGym has been correctly installed, I will simply import the module that is dealing with the version of the software and will print the version. To do so, I have to import from BioGym the version module. Actually, what I need from there is the function getText, which is actually printing the version. And once it's imported, I can simply print whatever this function is returning. Now let me save this file and run the script, run module here. And as you can see, the generation of the text here produces what I expect. So biogene 3.2.11 with some information about the website and so on. So it seems that Biogym is running correctly in this vi virtual environment and you are ready to start working with it. Thank you. See you later.